Samsung's devices can be particular when it comes to installing new over-the-air updates. I remember getting a Verizon wireless branding Galaxy smartphone one time, and it refused to install any monthly security update. The phone wouldn't even register that there was a new update ready to be installed at all. I believe this was because I never put a Verizon SIM card into the device, but this can happen with other Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets for a variety of reasons. Especially if you have unlocked the bootloader and installed Majisk on the device to gain root access. While I won't be focusing on maintaining root access during today's video, I do want to show you all how to manually install new over-the-air updates on your Samsung Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. If anyone is curious about how to install these updates while maintaining root access, then be sure to use the comment section down below to let me know. I have done this for previous Samsung devices, but I can also provide a video specifically for the Galaxy S22 series if there are some people who are curious about how that is done. Now to begin with this process, we're going to need to download some things ahead of time. For example, if you do not have Odin available on your desktop, PC, or laptop, then you will need to download it and extract it first. I will provide a download link to where you can get the version of Odin that I'll be using in this video down below. You will also need to download the version of Android that you want to install on your device. I used a program called Freya to download the version I'll be flashing to my Galaxy S22. But I've also highlighted websites like SamFW here on the channel as well. I'll include links to those videos that detail both of these methods in the video description as well. Just make sure that when you're downloading a new firmware to flash to your device, that it matches the same CSC region code that is already installed. If you're not familiar with how to check for the CSC region code on your device, then you guessed it, check in the video description for a link to a dedicated video that I've done on that subject too. For reference, you can see which version of Android that I currently have installed so that once the process has been completed, you'll be able to see that I have indeed updated to a newer version of Android. And once you are all prepared, we can begin this process by first booting the Galaxy S22 into download mode. This is done by powering off the device and then holding the two volume down buttons and inserting a USB cable while continuing to hold these two buttons down. Now that you see this download mode splash screen, we're going to press the volume up button one time to bypass that screen and get us directly into the actual download mode page. Then we can open up Odin on our PC and begin loading in the firmware that we want to install. You'll want to make sure that your smartphone is actually showing up in Odin by first checking the log section here and looking for the term added. And then making sure that your device is being detected in one of these squares up here. These all depend on which USB slot you're currently using. So just make sure that you see a blue color in one of these slots 
to indicate that your Samsung Galaxy S22 is being detected by Odin. If Odin is not detecting your device, then you likely need to troubleshoot some USB related issue. It could be as simple as switching USB ports, using another USB cable, or installing the proper USB drivers offered by Samsung themselves. This is the firmware file that I have previously downloaded. And once extracted, we get the contents right here. We're going to be given a list of five different firmware files. And we're going to be loading four of these into Odin to be flashed to our Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Let's begin loading in these files by first clicking on the BL button right here and then finding the firmware file that begins with the letters BL. Once that file has been loaded in, you're gonna see the file name right here. And then let's click the CP button within Odin and then select the firmware file that begins with the letters CP. Now, after clicking the CSC button, we have two options to choose from. If we load in the file that begins with the letters CSC, then that will perform a factory data reset when the firmware is installed on our device. That will erase all of your important data and can be useful if you want to get rid of root access or plan on selling or trading the phone after the firmware has been flashed. However, if you want to keep all of your data intact, then you'll want to select the file that begins with home underscore CSC. Since I don't have any reason to reset this phone right now, I'll be using that file here in today's video. Now let's load in the fourth and final firmware file into Odin by clicking the AP button and then selecting the file that begins with the letters AP. You can see this file is rather large and it will take some time for Odin to load it in properly. During this process, if you notice that Odin goes into not responding for a minute or two, then that is okay. I remember this happening on the previous version of Windows. We just want to wait patiently while the computer works through the file and gets it loaded into Odin properly. And you'll know when that happens by noticing the file has been loaded right here. And there it is. After you have loaded all four files into Odin, we can click the start button at the bottom of the window to begin the update process. Real quick, I just want to show you my options tab, just in case you have changed these options previously. I'm not going to be changing anything right here. Now that all four files are loaded, I'm going to go ahead and click the start button to begin the process. You can see there are going to be a lot of files that will be installed. So we're going to leave our Galaxy S22 Ultra alone. We aren't going to mess with the USB cable because we want to maintain a stable connection with the PC so that these files can be installed properly. 
Now it can take a while for this to be completed. So we're just going to wait patiently and monitor Odin to make sure that we do not get any errors during the install. Not only can you watch the progress bar right here at the top, but you should also see a progress bar at the bottom of your Samsung Galaxy S22 while it is in download mode. Again, we just want to make sure that Odin is not displaying any error messages in this log box right here. Unless you chose to deselect the auto reboot option here in Odin, then the smartphone should reboot on its own once this is complete. When you see the Galaxy S22 reboot and you get a green pass message up here, then you can safely remove the USB cable and wait for Android to boot up. If you loaded the regular CSC file and forced your data to be wiped, then this first boot back into Android can take longer than normal. Since Android has to get a lot of things prepared so that you can go through the activation phase. But if you just did a regular update like I did, then it should boot back into Android fairly quickly and take you to this optimizing apps page right here. You'll even see the finishing system update progress bar in, right here in the notification panel. We're just going to wait until this progress bar completes and then the system update is done. With all of that done, we can then check to make sure that the newer version of Android has been installed by looking at the software information page within the About Phone section of the Settings application. As long as you're seeing the newer version of Android here, and you can compare the baseband version listed here, with the firmware files that we just flashed in Odin to confirm that everything went through successfully and that we have finished manually updating the Samsung Galaxy S22.